On the last day of Black History Month, a Kentucky slave becomes a famous author and abolitionist. WHAS 11's Shirlene Shanklin and our editor Trey Muntz introduce us to the resilient Henry Bibb. I've been walking. Henry had a uh, way of running away, he was known as that. Henry Bibb was born somewhere between 1812 and 1815 on an Odom County plantation. Because he was enslaved, there was no paperwork to give an exact date. He had six brothers and was raised by his mother. About one third of our county were enslaved. At the time, Odom and Trimble were a part of the same county. Because of its location on the Ohio River, there was a lot of slave activity. That history is archived at the Odom History Center in LaGrange. So uh, as I came here and started looking at the records, uh, I began to realize that this had to be it was, uh, a place where people would have escaped from. And um, we came across a man named Henry Bibb. After some research, Nancy Tice, executive director, found Bibb was a slave who found a way to tell his own story. We found Henry Bibb's book, and he was very specific about people who enslaved him and where he lived and where he met his wife, and we just followed the trail. Bibb did not go to school, but he found a way to learn. He uh, tells that he was first purchased by this family, uh, the white family that had a little girl and he would listen to her when she, she was, he was sort of her playmate, and he would listen to her lessons, school lessons. He learned to read and write just by being there. He did find love with a woman by the name of Mary Frances, but her slave master did not allow them to marry. They, however, did have a daughter by the name of Melinda. With word that the Underground Railroad and dreams of freedom, Bibb planned his getaway. He left in 1837 to explore what that would be like, and he uh, jumped on a boat in Madison. He was supposed to be doing some work. When he returned to get his family, Bibb was recaptured. The family was later separated. Years later, he escaped again and remarried, settling in Canada. He continued to fight for his freedom, working with some of the most notable names in history. Well, he knew Frederick Douglass. He worked, I mean, there was a circuit of abolitionists that uh, Harriet Tubman, that they would go and national and speak at all these different places. Um, Anti-slave societies and the abolitionist societies, they had conventions. Before Bibb's death in 1854 at the age of 39, he published the narrative of the life and adventures of Henry Bibb, an American slave. He also created one of Canada's earliest black newspapers and founded the Refuge Home Society, which helped aid fugitive settling in Canada. He, he was just a really wonderful man who believed in um, freedom. He, he put his life you know, on the line many, many times. He, uh, he prized democracy, was the center of his soul, just to be able to be who he was. For moments that matter, I'm Shirlene Shanklin for WHS 11 News on your side. Henry Bibb was emancipated before the Civil War in 1842, meaning he was set free after the death of his owner. He lived out his life in Canada, which was viewed as a safe haven where he could live free.